Conan, blow up my car. It's a 1986 Fiero. We bought it in 1989. We've had it for 20 years. It's been through three teenagers. Yeah, that's three. Three teenagers. Mickey Mouse and I have the same hand. Uh, his is courtesy of Walt. Mine's courtesy of the Wyoming oil field. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to do this Survivor Man style. No camera crew, just me and what naturally occurs. Kind of like uh, Survivor Man, we're going to go back into the wilds to find this. So we got to go through the trees here a little bit. We're getting there. You can kind of see it. There it is. All right. There it is, 1986 Fiero. And it's put on its lipstick, as you can see, and it's winking at you. And I get down here a little bit lower, you can get the full effects of the wink. All right, the one good thing about this car is that it's all fiberglass. Fiberglass, you bet. Uh, they don't make them like this anymore. Yeah, that's probably a reason for that. Anyway, this is it. You can see, as I mentioned, only one headlight comes up. Makes it a little difficult when you're driving. Uh, the little emblem here is gone. That was actually a cute little emblem. And we're missing the whole side panel here. I think uh, neighbor kids got that. There was something there at one point that was real fancy. There's the gas cap. It locks, you have to have a release inside. That's it, and right back up in here is the little lever right here see see the lever that opens up the cap that doesn't work as you can see there's no action on the gas cap so uh, this is probably a green car in the sense that it uh, one tank of gas is all it takes and then it's out open up see the interior here ah here's my shadow you can see uh, uh, duct tape Seat cover, that makes it pretty nice. Worked the real good. There it is. Yeah. You can see this is uh, paneling there, that's coming off. My son broke this, but he also fixed it, so it now works. You can see this is off over here. Cigarette lighter is missing, but hey, I don't use that anyway. And uh, it's a pretty tight fit here for us big guys. <coughs> Not much there. As you can see, the knob on the radio was also missing, um, which is okay because the radio didn't work anyway. You can see the cracks on the dash. You got a pen here that's about to drip ink. It's a big old glob of ink there. Pretty soon it's going to get down and run this seat. A little uh, Rust in the ashtray. About the only thing on this car that rusts. You know, here's the hood release right underneath here. That just released the hood. Show you the front end of this, babe. All right, look at that. Yeah, you're asking, I know. You're asking, where's the engine in this thing? Yeah. We'll get to that later. I also got a flat tire right down there. But uh, like my sister-in-law says, well, it's only flat on the bottom. But then again, she's a blonde. On this side here, we have a grill. On this side, it's missing. But you look inside there, you can see the battery. And then here's the back end of it here. Have a little interesting thing here. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's a wasp. That's a small colony there. But uh, if I come up here, we got uh, something even better. Yeah, yeah, you got it. They moved into the little uh, area there. So if you blow this up, uh, you know those these guys will have to move, but. Having chased them around my yard for quite a few months, I realized that these guys are very, very mobile. I, I you know, told them, I said, if you had any objections to Conan blowing this car up, let me know, 
and so far there's been no uh, no communication on that so I'm assuming that it must be all right with these guys they did ask if if the new car if they could build their nest in the side view mirror on that I don't think that uh, I'll allow that but I don't think I'll tell them at this point we come back here open up the trunk and there we see the engine we got a little uh, this is the trunk space here not much but uh, they tout this as a mid mid engine car a little on the dusty side but we can take care of that so there you have it Conan the worst uh, car in America maybe fiberglass will not rust but boy it would explode great his fiberglass would go everywhere.